Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a, such a Neon War poster. First of all, we're going to need a portrait image, and for that I'm using Unsplash. I'm searching for a black and white portrait with good dark and light values. And I like using Unsplash because they're license free and have a good, generally good quality. Now we go up to documents, create a new, and I'm using an A4 canvas. Now all we gotta do is drag in our image and resize it so that it fits our canvas. We hit the OK and now with Control Shift A we open the camera raw filter and here I'm just going to do some slight adjustments to the gradient so that I got a nice so that I got a nice light and dark values and a good, good transfer between them. Um, then I'm gonna use a gradient overlay on which I'm going to use the heat map effect. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to edit the gradient so that it represents the color scheme of a heat camera, of a, yeah, of a heat map camera. Um, I'm going to blend in the schematics I used. You can recreate that pretty easily. Use dark and white for uh, that extra glow, you could also leave it out. And you can, after that, use some adjustments layers like the grading curve to boost the colors. Now we're going up to filters, pixelate, and we're going to use the uh, color halftone to create this uh, effect. And it's normally set at 8 pixel, but we're using a big canvas, so I'm going to set it to 10. And now you can see we have like this effect where it is, where it looks like it came out of a printer. And I'm also adding some grain and some paper texture to add more haptic. And with Ctrl J, I'm duplicating the um, layer and I'm going to Gaussian blur it. And I'm gonna add a layer layer mode to it for this glow effect which really bl brings the paper the image to a hole and I'm, I'm going to continue this by adding some more adjustment layers adding a, another glow on top of it you can use whatever uh, layer mode you want it comes down to personal preference and what you like and now i'm going to take a soft brush and the color pickle uh, pick, and the color picker and i'm going to pick some colors out of the image and add some light that overshoots the black so that it, that it pops a little bit more it looks like more like this nighttime feeling and uh, yeah, that's about it. There isn't very much to it. If you like that video, uh, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to not miss another video. Check down in the description for my social media, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I also stream games and paintings on Twitch. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.